Hi everybody, it's Alex. Um, I just wanted to show you guys some of the little things I found today for my eBay. And um, I went to the Goodwill where you know where you pay by the pound, and I went into the front store. And there was a lot of people, and there wasn't very much. And of course, my daughter had to go to the bathroom, so um, I didn't get to stay very long. And uh, I just wanted to show you, you know, a little bit of that and what I've been working on since the weekend. Okay, the first in the pay by the pound, this really isn't scrapbook related, but every mommy needs them, is these package of doorknob lock things, you know, for the, the safety locks for the kids. You can, I think you can buy them like a pack of, I think it's one or two at Walmart and they're like four eighty eight. so I grabbed those. And then I found this Scotch whoops, foam mounting squares, and those are really big. So there's only like, oh, okay, there's two. They're not really big. That's the size. Hello. I guess it helps to read the package. But either way, <laughs> I got those. And like I said, this is all the pay by the pound stuff. I found these 50, they're blank bookmarks. So... It shows like something you could do right there. I thought that was neat. So I grabbed those. And then I found a little staple remover. And this says Kitsy Kitchen. And it has all these different, um, you know, kitchen food related. Oops, that just came off. <laughs> words on it and it says 10 binder dividers with labels but that's not what I use it for because my mom says I can't even boil water so <laughs> uh, this I'll just use to see what I can make for other things so that was the pay by the pound stuff that was like 29 cents just so you know that part okay and the things that I found for my eBay this is one of my favorite let me move this favorite finds today. Look how cute they are. Oh my goodness. Look, they're salt and pepper shakers. They're so stinking adorable. And they both still have the rubber stopper. Um, like I said yesterday, I don't know much about like coffee mugs and some glassware, but I, I like salt and pepper shakers and I've done well on them before. And Especially since they're like figural, you know, they're not just a salt and pepper shaker. Now, if you wanted to do just plain salt and pepper shakers, if you could find them in crystal, that would be really good. But anyways, um, I paid $1.99 for these two. Okay. Then I found this. This is a vintage, like, 70s, like, jewelry, like, earring holder. It's a sunflower with a bumblebee on top. And I tore it off because I was trying to see if there was a label, but someone took this the label off of it already. But it was a dollar six, and it's signed on the back. Now I've done these, I've sold these before in auction, and I actually have my own personal one that I kept for myself. This is mine, the owls, because I love owls. So that's good. I like. I like that kind of stuff. It's neat. So I grabbed that. And then this guy was so intriguing. Um, at first I thought, okay, he's a candle holder. Can you see him? He has a little banjo or something. I don't know. So I thought he was a candle holder, right? And then when I got it home, I saw that it used to have like maybe a little flap, like a, a door or something. So I saw that was broken. And some of his paint, the gold uh, stuff is um, peeling off. But it did apparently have a price sticker and somebody took it off. So when I took it up to the register, um, she charged me a dollar for it. And it's signed Made in Japan with a little, the little Chinese characters there, or Japanese characters, sorry. Um, I looked and looked and looked to see if there was a match and there wasn't not where he was anyway um, you know people pick things up and set things down so it probably is there and I just missed it so I got him anyway and then these oh these are so awesome you see these 
Now I know the darker color, like a purplish, bluish, how it has that rainbow hue to it. It's called carnival glass, but I also know there's some like imitation carnival glass. But these are signed on the bottom, right like in the corner right here. It says Fenton. And they're I think they're candle holders, but they're like a tulip shape. And I took the sticker off, but I paid a dollar six a piece for these. And I did some research on eBay and it's hit and miss. A lot of it, there's like eight and nine bids for things. I didn't see mine exactly, but um, some things have no bids, so I'll see how that goes. Okay, now I want to show you a couple of things that I've made. First, let me show you. I did a couple little stick pins with the little chickens <laughs> that I got the other day. And then I did this little stick pin. This dried kind of crooked. I have a couple more drying right now, but these are the only ones I could move to show you. So those are those. Excuse my fingers. I was messing with the um, the paint daubers from Dollar Tree yesterday. And I'll show you what I was doing. First, oh, let me show you this. This layout that I did. You see these? This, these two right here, if you can see that, is this book that I got at the thrift store for 49 cents and I ripped a couple of the pages out and uh, I tried to leave it really simple because I wanted you know, to be able to see the pages and the pictures so I didn't put many embellishments and um, this paper in the background is from the church rummage sale last week this is my husband and his grandfather so I, I tried to make it look a little older and the paper was really brittle so it didn't rip you know right at the seam binding but I thought that's okay it looks fine and I just put a little cherished definition and fun his grandfather just recently died so I thought he like he would like this so that's that and you know what I'm gonna stop this just in case I don't know how long it's been maybe like five or six minutes and I'm going to come right back and show you the rest. All right, guys. Be back. Bye.